All right. What a joy to be here. I always love to come to your town. It's so bright and shiny today. It's, uh, it's wonderful. Now, uh, you probably, when he said two 75-minute sessions, you know, like I'm going to lecture to you at all, we're going to have some fun. We're going to high participation. So just so we get going, why don't you all stand up? I got a couple of things you got you to do. Um, first thing I want you to do, and when I finish with one thing, I'll put my hand up, and if you see my hand up, put your hand up, and then everybody be quiet. First thing I want you to do is wander around for about 30 seconds and greet as many people as possible, but greet them in a very special way. Greet them as if they're unimportant and you're looking for somebody much more important to talk to. So if you could greet each other as if you're unimportant. Okay, stop where you are, but don't sit down. All right, now what I'd like you to do is greet each other for about 30 seconds now, but this time greet each other as if you're a long-lost friend and you're really glad to see them. <laughs> Okay, you can sit down, you can sit down, all right, all right, well, uh, why did I do that, except I'm from California, uh, we're going to bring in some hot tubs in a little while. Uh, but the reason I did that is that to run a great organization, great family, great church, great anything, you have to know how to manage people's energy, including your own. Now, where was there more energy in the room, the first activity or the second? Second, significant. Now, what did I do to change the energy in the whole room? All I changed was what you were thinking about. From a negative thought, these are unimportant people, to... You know, these are long lost friends. And the whole energy in the room changed. It's so interesting that not only did the energy change, but I didn't tell you how to behave when I put in your head those two thoughts. You automatically did. It's so interesting, you know, it says in the Bible, as a person thinketh, they become. And what happened when I said these are unimportant people? Very little eye contact, very little touching, you know. You looked around, it looked like you were dealing with a lot of unimportant people. Then I said, these are long lost friends. What happens? Your faces lit up, you started to laugh, you started to hug each other, and all. Everybody's behavior changed. It's really kind of powerful. Uh, how many of you know that the computer and the mind have a lot in common? Have you ever thought about that? Both your computer and your mind don't know the difference between the truth and what you tell it. You put information in a computer, it doesn't say, where'd you get these facts? These facts are wrong. What does the computer do? It does whatever it can with what? The information you've given it. What have we said about the computer for years? Garbage in what? Garbage out. Do you know it's the same way with your mind? If you woke up this morning and looked in the mirror and said, you are fabulous, your mind's not going to say, who are you kidding? <laughs> you know, I know you're a lot better than this. And uh, so... What we put in our mind is so important. And one of the things, you know, people uh, ask me, you know, what, what business are you really in? I think, you know, it's really changing the way people think about leading and motivating people. I mean, that's really been my mission uh, for a long time. And so today is really about belief systems. And it's so interesting. Most of you already know the stuff we're going to talk about. Uh, I remember when the one-minute manager came out, so many people came up and said, I could have written that, you know? <laughs> and, uh, you know, because uh, it's not that all that complicated, uh, but it's, it's all about, about beliefs, you know? What, what do you believe about people? And so that's what, one of the things that we're going to really do uh, today is just kind of take on some beliefs you have. Because, unfortunately, there's a lot of stinking thinking, about leadership. I mean, how many of you know that the major problem in the world today is leadership? I mean, have we seen what self-serving leaders have done? 
in every sector of society and in countries and all that kind of thing. As we look around the, the world, it's just incredible, you know. And uh, so what I want to do today is, you know, because it's been 30 years since the One Minute Manager came out, is to put that into a different context uh, of what I've been thinking over the years and try to show you how it all fits in. Because one of the things I've come to the conclusion is, is that the most effective way to lead people is to be servant leaders. <laughs> 